In most cases, we will use database asynchronously. So let's learn how to use SQLX to connect to SQLite database asynchronously. So in cargo runtime alpha file, we will add dependencies. First is SQLX. We will add features SQLite because we will use SQLX to connect to SQLite database. Then we will add features runtime Tokyo because we will use Tokyo for asynchronous runtime. Let's go back to main.rs file. First, let's add attribute Tokyo main for main function. So we can make this main function as a async function. So let's add a sync keyword in front of this main function. Then let's create a variable, give the name option equal to, we will call SQLite import from SQLX SQLite connector option. Then we will call new function to create a new connector options. Then we will call file name. Let's give it a file name test.db. Then let's add a method create if missing. Give it a boolean value true. So this connector option will open this test db as a database. If there is no test db file, it will create that test db file in our project folder. Then let's create a variable, give the name connection equal to. We will call SQLite SQLite pool then connect with function. We will pass this option into this connect with function as argument. So let's pass this variable into this function. This connect with is a sync function. So let's call await to handle the future. Then it will return a result. Let's call unwrap to handle the result. Then let's use connection to create a table in this test DB database. So connection that we will call SQL. Then we will create a SQL query. Let's write a create a table if not exist users. We will give the table name users. Let's add a field. Give it a name ID. Type give it a integer. Then let's give it a primary key. Let's give it a auto increment. So this ID field will automatically increase. We don't need to insert a value for this ID field. Let's add another field name, give it a type of text. Then let's call the await to handle the future on this execute function. Then we will call unwrap to handle the result. Then let's insert the data to this user's table. So we will call sqlx query function. Then let's write uh, insert uh, into users. We don't need to uh, insert a value for this ID field. We only need to uh, insert a value for this name field. So, so first field will be name, then values. We use question marker with a number as a placeholder for the parameter. So we give it a values question marker one. Then we will call bind method on this query to add the parameters value. So let's give it a parameters value, gym. Then we need to make this to be a reference. We will add a upstand before this value. Then let's call SQL to SQL this query. So we will pass the reference to this connection as argument. Then we need to call await to handle the future and unwrap to handle the result. Let's insert another piece of data. So let's change this value to PIM. Then let's query data from this user's table. So we will call SQLX query as function. Then 
Let's write a SQL select a asterisk from users. Then we will call fetch all method to fetch all the data from this users table. Then we will pass a reference to the connection as argument. Then let's call await to handle the future. Then let's call unwrap to handle the result. Then it will return all the rows required from this users table. So let's create a variable, give it a name rows equal to. Because we call this query as function, we can give this rows a type annotation. So let's create a struct type as a type for the single row in this rows. Let's create a type struct. Let's give it a name person. Let's add a field. In this users table, it got two fields id and the name so we will add a id and the name field to this person structure too so id let's give it a type of integer type of iso2 and the name let's give it a string type of string then we will need to add an attribute derive and from row we will import from sqlx then let's also add a debug Attribute. So later we can print out uh, the instance of this person. So we will add uh, this person type uh, for this rules. So let's give it a type uh, rules. It will be a vector hold uh, each person. Type will be vec person. Then let's use for loop uh, to loop through this vector. So for row in rows. Let's put not uh, each row. So you can see each row type is person. In terminal, let's cargo run. So you can see it will create a file named uh, testdb as a database in our project folder. Then it will query all the data we insert uh, to this table users. First, uh, Person ID is one, name is Jim. Second person ID is two, name is Pim. This is how we use SQLX to connect to SQLite database asynchronously. Hope I see you next time.